Hello students today we will learn some more interesting applications of sprite Children in the previous lesson you have learned about the components of scratch how to open scratch and make simple projects using blocks from motions and pen block menu In this lesson we will learn about changing the appearance of sprite changing color and its size repeating actions making sprite say something and adding sound effects in a project let us quickly learn about creating a new project open scratch window click on the file menu choose the new option a new project opens up with a default cat sprite on the stage let us quickly learn how to change the appearance of sprite When you start a new scratch project it begins with a cat sprite You can edit the looks of a sprite by changing its costumes The looks block menu controls the look of a sprite To change the sprite look follow the given steps Click on the costume tab to see and edit the sprite costume The new costume options are displayed as shown in the figure These options are choose costume from library, paint new costume, upload costume from file and new costume from camera. Here we will learn the method to choose costume from library. Click on choose costume from library button. The number of choices will appear in the import costume dialog box. Select the animals option from the category section. Select butterfly 1A sprite and click okay. Observe that the new costume will be added under the costumes list as well as displayed on the stage. Select the script tab and click on the motion block. Drag out the move 10 steps block from the motion category and drop it on the scripts area. Click inside the number box and change the steps value from 10 to 20. Now select the looks block category. Click and pull out the change color effect by 25 block onto the scripts area. Place it below the move 20 steps block. An important note: the change color effect by 25 block changes the color and other graphical effects applied to the sprite by the specified number. Now pick the next costume block and snap it below the change color effect by 25 block in the script. Click on any of the blocks to run the block stack. Observe the sprite changing its costume and color. Again, an important note. Notice that the script tab and the costume tab share the same space. You can move back and forth by clicking on each tab at the top. Let's quickly learn how to make a sprite say something. You can also make a sprite say a word or a sentence in a scratch project. The say hello block allows the sprite to say some message in a voice bubble. Let us make a project on it. Click the looks block category. Drag the say hello block from it and drop it onto the sprite area. Now select the control block category and drag the wait 1 second block to the script area. Snap these two blocks together. This block makes the sprite wait for the specified number of seconds before moving to the next block of the script. Again select the looks block category and place the say hello for 2 seconds block beneath the wait 1 seconds block. This block allows the sprite to say some message for the specified number of seconds. Type in the message "How are you?" inside the text space of the block. Drag out the "Say Hello" block again and drop it at the end of the script. Change the text of the block to "I am good." Click on any of the blocks to run the block stack. No more about looks block. Change size by 
This block is used to change the size of the sprite by the specified amount. Let us make a scratch project using blocks that have been explained to you. Place the block step by step as shown in the figure. Now click on the script and observe the sprite changing its color and size. Let's quickly learn about repeating actions. Repeat instructions help in controlling the execution of the program. You can repeat the actions of the sprite as many times as needed. You will get various blocks to repeat the actions in the control block category. Blocks held inside the repeat 10 blocks are repeated for the specified number of times mentioned in the block. Let us learn to use it in a scratch project. Pick the repeat 10 block and place it onto the script area. Change the value from 10 to 15. Drag the move 10 steps block and turn 15 degrees block from the motion block palette and drop them onto the script area. Change the value in both the blocks to 30. Now place them inside repeat 15 block as shown in the given figure. Select the pen block menu. Drag out the stamp block and drop it below the move 30 steps block. Click on any block to run a stack and observe the repeated actions. Let's know something more. Stop button. The stop button is placed on the top right corner of the stage. It is red in color and is used to stop the project at any time during execution. Know more about control blocks. Forever. Blocks held inside this block will be in a loop that never ends unless the stop button is clicked. When clicked. The when clicked block is in the events block and the most used block in Scratch. The image of a flag shows how the block is connected with the actual green flag. Scripts that begin with this block will run once the green flag has been clicked. Important tip. To move a clock anywhere in the script area, click on the top block of the script and drag the stack to the place where you want to place it. Alright students, let's learn about adding sound. There are many ways to add sound to your scratch project. Here we will discuss the blocks present in the sound block menu that are used to add sound. Make the script by dragging out the blocks as shown in the figure and stack them on top of each other. Click on the script to play the project. You will hear the sound of a cat, that is meow and drum beats. Know more about sound blocks. Play sound meow until done. This block will play the specific sound. The script will pause until the sound has finished playing. Play drum 48 for 0 0.2 beats. This block plays a drum sound for a specified number of beats. You can change the drum type by clicking the drop down arrow next to the number and the number of beats by changing the value in the box. Students, let's know more. Green flag. It is a tiny icon placed at the top right corner of the state screen. Clicking on the green flag will run the script step by step. Okay, students, let us take a recap of this chapter. To change the sprite's looks, we can use Costumes tab. There are three options to change the costume of a sprite. Choose Costume from Library, Paint New Costume, Upload Costume, Form File and New Costume from Camera. The Say Hello block allows the sprite to say something in a voice bubble. The When Clicked block is in the Events block and is designed to start a script. The Stop button is used to stop the project at any time during execution. Sound block contains many blocks to play sound in your scratch project. The Controls block category includes various blocks to repeat the actions of the sprite. 